At a busy intersection behind a nondescript door is a safe haven for drug addicts. Here at the Corner Project, they can grab a nap on a comfortable chair or pick up clean needles or a referral to detox. And last year, the Corner Project saved 65 lives, including that of this recovering addict. I've spent most of my life in jail. 39-year-old Damian Zamora now works here, monitoring the bathrooms where he himself has overdosed. I've overdosed more than one time and they didn't give up on me. I overdosed a second time, three times, four wow. times. Yeah. And so finally, I got tired. You all right? Anyone can use the bathrooms for 15 minutes. So workers check on those inside periodically, just in case. If they don't answer, we have an overdose response. This is the crash kit. Overdoses hit an all-time high in the U.S. last year. People are dying all around the city. Liz Evans, the director of the Corner Project, says having a place where addicts are more openly allowed to shoot up, like this supervised injection site she helped start in Vancouver, Canada, would save even more lives. She says addicts there were 30 percent more likely to seek treatment. Supervised injection sites save lives. Supervised injection sites are a way for people to connect with care, to um, get a message that while they are still actively caught up in their life of addiction, that somebody is there to make sure that when they do overdose that they don't die. Here in New York, City Hall has been pushing to open four supervised injection facilities, or as they prefer to call them, overdose prevention centers. And New York's not alone. Officials in Seattle, San Francisco, and Philadelphia are also exploring the idea. But the problem is federal law, which makes it a crime to knowingly operate any facility where illegal drugs are being used. And the city's special narcotics prosecutor says the treatment statistics cited by the Corner Project are outdated. Last year, overdoses in Vancouver increased by more than 50 percent. Where in New York, they've stabilized. We were only up by 3 percent. Just to give them a place where they can shoot up drugs and walk out, I don't think you've done a thing for that person, but help them destroy their own life. Still, Damien insists he would not be alive or clean for his daughter were it not for the support he received here after being revived. Now I have a job and I have a chance to help other yeah. people and maybe I could reach that one person too. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.